Welcome, everybody. Connor introduced me already. My name is Frank Optwoords, uh, editor in chief for casinonews.nl. And for the last year, we have been covering the Dutch regulated market. It wasn't regulated yet, but we've been bringing the news on all the new stuff happening. All right. That's me, actually in a casino, but I'm not the biggest gambler in the world, but I do enjoy a visit to Holland Casino every now and then. I worked for 12 years for PokerNews.nl and PokerNews.com. That's why I'm talking to you today, just to show you that I know a little bit about what I'm talking about today. Um, the market, it's been in... Uh, um, it's been a long process, let's keep it at that. Uh, for the last year and a half, I've been working on casino, uh, casinonews.nl. The last year, we've been actually online. Um, today, I'll be talking about the reading material, what you should be reading if you want to focus on the .nl market. I'll explain a little bit about the long way to regulation. I'll uh, bring you the news who's regulated and who's not regulated that actually that news hit this morning and then finally I'll tell you what definitely not to do what to do and then the last slide what subjects are a little bit tricky maybe and at the end obviously Q&A all right First of all, the most important thing is the, the Remote Gambling Act themselves. We have the decree on remote gaming as part of that. We have the ro remote gaming regulation. We have several amendments. We have the policy rules for granting remote gaming licenses. We have the policies for responsible gambling. We have the regulation on recruitment, advertising, and addiction prevention of games of chance. And then I would also advise to every now and then read the blog of Rene Janssen, the chairman of the regulator. That is a whole list of stuff that you should be reading or that you should be familiar with, but I can tell you it's a lot, a lot. So you could also just really pay attention for the next 15 minutes and you'll be right up to speed. All right, first of all, uh, there's been talks about regulating the Dutch online casino market for as long as I've been around, and I started in 2005. But the, 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 the latest uh, rendition of the Gambling Act really uh, picked up speed in uh, July 2016. And then the Senate adopted it, the Remote Gambling Act in 2019. Everyone figured, okay, we're very close, but then still it took two years almost. Uh, last April, they started uh, taking license applications. And then this Friday, the big moment, the first uh, 10 casinos are um, opening up in the Netherlands. This morning, they announced which uh, casinos will get a license, who are allowed to operate starting coming Friday. And at the same time, uh, next month, November 1st, the blackout starts for unlicensed offering. That was a big upset. You can read all about it on casinonews.nl. Uh, um, for the longest time, everyone thought that the unregulated uh, offering, the un unregulated online casinos would be allowed to stay on the Dutch market as long as they um, would not focus actively on Dutch consumers. That all changed last week when the uh, minister changed his mind uh, and the regulator adopted that. So there's uh, a hard rule that the um, illegal operators should not be online, should block Dutch players. All right, October 2021. These are some of the uh, players that we expected uh, to hit the market. This was up to date when I made this presentation, but this morning everything changed. Um, some of them uh, dropped out. Some new ones I didn't expect are hitting the regulated market. Um, the top row is all correct. Toto, Fairplay, Holland Casino, GG Poker, Bet365, Tombola, B365, 
Bet City uh, are amongst those getting a license and are allowed on October 1st in the Netherlands. Some of the others that I expected have not been granted a license so far. Uh, Napoleon, Sea Turf, Super Game, Polder Casino, so far, no license for them. And then we have either Q1 or Q2 of 2022. We expect a lot of the, uh, the big brands to hit the Dutch uh, regulated market. Uh, here are just some examples. It's been, uh, uh, there's been a lot of rumors when what online casino is going to hit the regulated market. Nobody knows for sure yet, but uh, so far the expectation is most of them will be live in uh, the first or the second quarter of 2022. But before that all happens, they have to be offline, like I just explained. That is a new change since last week. All those uh, partners are, will be offline. All right, the first thing, what not to do when you're focusing on the Dutch regulated market. Don't focus on people younger than 24. That is the basis of the, of the gambling act. Uh, of course, gambling is legal from 18 and up, but uh, between 18 and 24 is a group you should definitely not focus on. The regulator will uh, definitely keep an eye on things. And what's important in the Dutch regulated market is that all the online casinos are responsible for everything the affiliate does in their name. So if you decide to write an article on the best way to become a millionaire when you're 18 playing blackjack, that's probably not a very good idea because you can get your partner into trouble. And as a result, obviously, the partners, the online casinos will take a close eye on your website, making sure you don't do stuff like this. For me, it goes without saying, but just as a reminder, uh, responsible gaming has been uh, at, at, at the core of the Remote Gambling Act in the Netherlands ever since its inception. And uh, so don't focus on gambling addiction, people with gambling addiction. There is no linking to unlicensed operators. You can't have it uh, both ways. You can't link both to the regulated uh, online casinos and unregulated um, online casinos. Even if you don't link to the unlicensed partners, you should be uh, objective in the, uh, the text that you use on your website. I, for example, on Casino News, we do have reviews for online casinos that are not regulated yet, but we don't use promotional text. We don't say like, this is a great casino, uh, you should definitely play here once they get their license. That is something maybe even worse than frowned upon. It's not the way to do it. Again, and this comes back a little bit to the first point, um, Influencers, uh, if you even have uh, contact with uh, people active in sports, their fan base should not be, uh, uh, should not have a large percentage of people under 24. This is kind of a vague rule, but it's expected of you as an affiliate and expected of the online casinos to do their research. So if they want to have Ronaldo as their uh, new main influencer, they should do their research and check if not 30% of their fans, of, of his fans, are younger than 24. Again, no bad faith text. Uh, you should be honest about uh, what's possible and what's not possible playing uh, online casinos. Uh, an example, of course, Here's how you become rich playing blackjack. It's debatable. I know there's some people around here that probably can make a living playing blackjack, but the, far, uh, the vast majority, obviously, for, for the vast majority, it's a losing proposition. So be honest in, 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 in what you write. There is no need for these kinds of uh, text, and the regulator uh, is not a fan. Let's keep it at that. 
kind of comes back to the second point. No call to actions on pages that are focused on gambling addiction. When you write about gambling addiction, when you write about uh, uh, organizations that focus on gambling addiction, don't try to get people in the funnel towards the uh, gambling part of your website. That is definitely not something that the regulator and the online casinos that have a um, license are fans of. Don't focus on esports, or at least not the gambling on esports. Esports is not allowed within the uh, Remote Gambling Act to gamble on. They say it's, uh, it's too easy uh, for match fixing to hit. Obviously, a lot of the players in esports are younger. Um, so, none of the uh, regulated online casinos will have gambling uh, on esports. So, it's not worth it for us either to focus on that. All right, then, and I'm afraid this is a little bit of a shorter list. What to do? Every single page should have a link to play responsibly. 18 plus, uh, this is just a prerequisite. You have to have that text on your website. Again, be very clear on the bonuses, how they work. We've seen the regulator in one of the last uh, fines they, they hit uh, online casinos with. They really focus on the bonus system. They'll try to judge if, if a bonus is actually possible to hit. So as an affiliate, don't uh, promote these bonuses that are really uh, impossible to hit. Ideal is the number one payment method in the Netherlands by a mile. Ideal is not well known in the rest of the world, but in Holland it's, it's, it's the clear number one. So if you write about the Netherlands, always focus that ideal is a option. Uh, that is something that definitely can get people to sign up. Ideal all the way. Obviously all the other ones uh, are still legal. Licensed operators are allowed to have uh, a lot of payment methods, but ideal is the most important one for Dutch consumers. Crux is a system that is known in, in, in other parts of the world as well as uh, Spell Pause or uh, GameStop. Crux is the Dutch version of that, a central registry where you can uh, sign yourself up so you are not allowed to gamble. Crux goes for both land-based casinos and online casinos, so you hit both in one spot. Um, this is not a rule, but I would definitely uh, advise to have information on Crux, what it is, and um, how people can sign up. Everyone in, in, in Holland knows this. Holland Casino is the biggest brand, uh, the most well-known brand when it comes to casinos. It has a near 100% top of mind awareness in, in the Netherlands. They did get a license, they, are, they were expected to, and they announced this morning that they will start uh, their online casino this Friday. So just keep that in mind. Obviously, you'll get better deals probably with some of the other online casinos, but Holland Casino is, is, is the biggest, just so you know. There's a lot of smaller slot casinos in Netherlands uh, who offer online casino as well. Some of them got their license uh, this morning. Some of them will be a little bit later. So those are really brick and mortar casinos that people are aware of their brand. Those, the rest of the, uh, the people in this room probably haven't never heard of them before, but for the Dutch consumer, a lot of them are well known. One of the, the, the prime examples is Fair Play Casino. They hit this uh, morning, they got their license as well, and they'll start their online casino. All right, then, what's tricky? And this is more my thoughts on the matter than anything the, the regulator has, has, has said so far. So take it with a grain of salt. Ranking on unlicensed online casinos. I said earlier you can't link to them, but you can still try to rank on them, obviously. Um, why is it tricky? 
again, you can't promote them, but you can try to rank on them. I feel if you rank high on an unlicensed or illegal online casino, you're part of the solution because you're helping the channelization rate. You're helping people that were looking for an illegal online casino towards the legal offering. It's tricky, but I feel it's the right way to do. So I'm not uh, getting all the illegal online casinos reviews offline. Not until the regulator tells me to. I really came up, tried to come up with a name that didn't exist here, offshorebonuscasino.com. Uh, the, there's a clear distinction between illegal online casinos and really, really illegal online casinos. There's the uh, online casinos that will likely try to apply for a license, the big companies we all know, and then there's the other ones where you can definitely play your nice gambling games, but they will never get a license in uh, the Netherlands for all sorts of reasons. It's tricky. Do you want to rank on them? Yes. But again, be not too positive about them. Be uh, uh, mild in your, uh, in your text uh, and be careful what you do. Because even though the regulator officially doesn't make a distinction between illegal online casinos and really, really illegal online casinos, there clearly is. I told you earlier about Crux, the um, self, uh, the regular, um, uh, the database where you can exclude yourself. Obviously, people are gonna try and Google for casinos that are not part of Crux because that will allow them to still play, even though they are in that uh, database. It is a tricky subject. It's gonna be a search term that it's gonna get some volume. I expect, but be really careful how you uh, play your cards on that subject. The best blackjack strategies, why is that tricky? Blackjack strategies, obviously, there's a million out, them, uh, out there. Wikipedia has a very interesting long article on it, but we all know uh, the vast majority of the blackjack strategies are still not one you, you can win in the long run. So when you Write that, be honest about the chances of the blackjack strategy or the roulette strategies or whatever other strategy you can find. Um, be honest what the uh, uh, return of investment will be for those. I told you earlier, I've worked for Poker News for uh, almost 13 years. Poker lifestyle is something that, that lured me in. It got me excited, Las Vegas, poker, gambling, having a big party. It's all very interesting, but it's also something that uh, the younger generation, I no longer are part of that uh, younger generation, but it lures people in and it is exciting and it's something you can use as an affiliate to get people excited about the games. But again, you have to be careful with it. You, don't, you, can, you have to be honest about people's chances. Even as a poker professional, you can make money in the long run but not all of them will. So be, be honest about that. All right, and then as part, uh, final part of my presentation, just a disclaimer. I have been focusing on uh, uh, the Remote Gambling Act for the last year and a half, but I'm no lawyer. So everything I just told you is something that I feel, something that I've been reading up on. But there are obviously experts in the field. So if you really want to focus on the Dutch market and you really take uh, a big approach and you want to focus, maybe it's smart to hire some professionals. Um, these are some of the uh, companies in the Netherlands, lawyer firms, that are well versed in the world of iGaming. So hit them up. And last but not least, there is a quality seal, a organization uh, where I'm a founding member of, but I have nothing to do so uh, with them anymore. So sign up, uh, uh, it won't benefit me, but at Keurmerk Verantwoord Affiliates, you can look that up, they have a code, they'll explain exactly what you can and cannot do. Uh, they can test your site, you can become a, a member of them, and uh, they even give you a do follow backlink, so it might be worth it. That was it for me.
more than happy, more than happy to answer some questions if you have. Do we have any questions for Frank, ladies and gentlemen? Please raise your hands. I will bring a microphone over for you. This is an excellent chance to ask somebody with a great deal of experience in the Dutch market um, for his advice. Here's a question. Hi, uh, great presentation. Uh, will it be up to operators to help the affiliates to become more recognized and accepted by uh, users and websites because often we have great uh, earned links or even sponsored links and websites are refusing to link back to affiliates, uh, being scared of them not being licensed operators even though we are not operators. So is time going to solve that or something else? I wouldn't hold my breath, to be honest. In, in, in the first conversations I had, uh, they act like you just described. They are not uh, the biggest fan. They feel it should be the other way around. We should be promoting them and not the other way around. Uh, time will tell, I guess, but uh, especially now with just 10 uh, legal online casinos hitting the market on Friday, um, the affiliate side of things for most will not be their main focus uh, in, in the first couple months, so I wouldn't be expecting it. Thank you. Any more questions? Please raise your hands. No? Looks like everybody's happy, so Frank, thank you very much once thank, again. Thank you for having me. Let's have a nice warm round of applause for Frank.